it going guys? We are all the way in Las Vegas, Nevada to visit my buddy Houston Crosta and embark on an insane week-long rally. I've got Christine with me this time who is actually on the last Royalty Exotics rally, but I completely hit her from the internet. So <laughs> if you saw little bits of her leg, she was there. Look at that, I'm gonna hit 20,000 miles. All right, just pulled up to Royalty Exotic Cars. We got the Chiron and it's Houston himself. Dude, What's honestly, up, dude? Parker, glad to have you, man. I can't wait for this rally. You know, like, our rallies aren't like everybody else, you know? We're, we're like small group, and it's all about like that luxury life, you know? I had a blast last time. At the end of the rally, we were going on a cruise to Mexico, so this cruise ship that we're going on has a go-kart track and on the top double decker. It. It's a double-decker <laughs> go-kart track, <laughs> so, so there's no way we're gonna have a bad time. Is this the Hamilton Collections car? It is, yeah. So we're gonna do a, a wicked exhaust. A full manual conversion or something? Basically, the first straight pipe shear on. Wow. So we'll see what happens, I mean, you know. And just secretly tune it behind his back? Yeah. You know, it's <laughs> funny because just driving this Chiron compared to the Veyron, I think this is the most overrated hypercar on Earth. Really? Look, the, the, the design aesthetics are amazing. Yeah. But this class, this car here would replace my S class. Okay, I gotta ask, how does somebody like you choose what car you're taking on the on the rally? <laughs> this one's by default, man. Uh, I wanted to take my Veyron, but unfortunately I couldn't get it ready in time. So today we've defaulted into Koenig Sega Gera. Oh. All right, dude, we'll Obviously see you out there. <laughs> what is the simulator? So my, this costs more than my McLaren. It's, it's pretty expensive. <laughs> so I'm about to put it for sale. This, uh, as you can see right now, it's all strapped up because we're going to move it to my house. If you're racing for real, it feels like when you crash, you have to let go. Because real? It's otherwise it'll rip your uh, oh, it'll, it'll wrists rip, off? It'll break your wrists and everything. I mean, the torque and all that stuff. So. Is this yours too, the 190E? No, no. Those are, that's a cool one. It is a pretty cool car. This is the one that is currently the highest valued 190E in the world. This was the bring a trailer really? car that, I mean, it's brand new. You know, it was paid 425 on bring a trailer, but it's the lowest mileage that I know of, and it has all, every hose, every clamp, everything is new on this car. It's super, super clean. The wing so, on these things, Jesus. Yeah, think about this, it's like 1989 or something like that. They have this, uh, this wing. Oh, wow, this I didn't weird. realize that moves. Yeah, it moves. Uh, this one moves too, goes in and out. Wow. It's kind of sophisticated for how old it is. You know? And then you've got a freaking Batmobile over here. Yeah, that's You've got enough toys. Yeah, this is Hound's tooth in the interior. Oh, wow. So That's actually incredible. Yeah, it's... It's cool. Have you ever driven one of these? No. Well, I know Houston's not the biggest fan of the Chiron, but from the brief one day that I had a Chiron to review, I'm absolutely in love with this thing. It looks so cool. I've never felt like more of a champion in my entire life than driving this thing. And having 1,500 horsepower in a comfortable car is pretty freaking ridiculous. I'm excited to see what it sounds like with an exhaust. Check out this beautiful LP640 next to it. All of the cars are getting stickered up right now, and then we are leaving to Mammoth, which is our first stop. Brought the 600 LT this time, last time brought the GT500. Super excited to have this on the rally. A bunch of really cool cars. Nice Aventador Roadster, Aventador, Huracan 458, some more Huracans, AMG GT. It's gonna be sick. Oh my God. idling sound of this thing is unbelievable. Houston was saying the power steering pump is broken and the front lip, so he's driving this car with no power steering, which is gonna be absolutely insane, probably kind of fun, but the no front lip, that's gonna be scary. Look at the front bumper right now. All right guys, it is time to go on the rally. It's so crazy seeing one of these next to normal cars. Like, look at this Dodge Journey. And then we've got this $3 million Koenigsegg. A similar color to the Chevy Cruze. Nice. This guy is loving it. I don't know what they do when they make the roads in Vegas, but they are the slipperiest roads in the world. Absolutely no traction. Gonna get some heads up races against the Koenigsegg. That was super fun, but it basically fighting for grip the whole time. That thing sounds so insane when it loses traction. Damn, shorty.
Stop in this random little town for some lunch. Problem is we got here so early, we're 45 minutes before the lunch stop actually opens. Really interesting scenery and buildings out here. I feel like I'm in the Wild West. We got the Sourdough Saloon. This Garris looks kind of sick with that building in the background. Look at these clouds, my God. I validated the car, and then I got back in the power search didn't work. No idea what happened. So this, you just plug the fuel in right there. Have you seen the Regera where you have to open the entire back of the car? It kind of seems excessive. You would have to do that in this if they didn't make this nice little hatch. And I bet you that this hatch is probably so complicated to make and match the carbon and everything. They were like, fuck it. <laughs> we're not doing that again. <laughs> Koenigsegg in an Arco gas station. I can see the gas purist cringing. Gas purist. Honestly, it doesn't make a difference. No, Arco doesn't work. <laughs> really? What the heck? Now this is how to rally. This guy's got race fuel in his trunk. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, I was gonna say it smells like E85. Houston, chilling next to the sheriff. We are out in the middle of nowhere. Look how long that straightaway is. Just mountains and desert in every single direction. GT3 RS coming through. About an hour outside of Mammoth right now in a town called Big Pine. I actually was here when I was about 10 years old on a backpacking trip now. Hold on. I don't know if we're about to all get pulled over. There is a cop right there. What's going on? Oh no, he's already pulled someone over. Nice. What I was trying to say is when I was like 10 years old, I went on a backpacking trip out here with my dad and my uncle. I used to go on a ton of hiking and backpacking trips back in the day. I'm gonna need to get more into that. It's a literal dust tornado. Holy crap. We are fully in the middle of a Darude sandstorm right now. It's actually crazy. Look at the sky. The visibility is terrible. Every once in a while, just sand shoots across the road. Well, I think that cop's coming after all of us. And he's getting the Urus. Damn. Why? He wasn't even going the fastest. That sucks. Sorry. I feel like you've disappeared from the vlog. Are you having fun? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. You gotta give Houston huge credit for the road selection. Every rally I've been on that he's hosted has amazing roads, but this one in particular, so many deserted canyon roads, some awesome straightaways in the middle of nowhere, kind of a mix of everything, but no traffic at all. Just pure open roads. Whoa! Look at this, it's like a freaking racetrack. It actually looks like this was paved yesterday. Are you kidding me? This road is so freaking epic. Look at that, some absolutely enormous mountains with the Koenigsegg rolling down the highway. It doesn't get much cooler than that. All right, welcome to Vehicle Virgin's Arctic Tundra Edition. It's hailstorming now. So if you don't hear from me, I'm curled up in a ball crying because of the uh, hail damage on my car. Here we are, arriving in Mammoth. Mammoth Mountain Base Camp. I haven't been here in a long time. Of course I missed it, but the dash just had a warning that said caution frost. I've never seen that before. Look, it's 37. Just pulled up to our final destination in Mammoth after an incredible drive. Pretty cool to see all of the supercars out here in the main lobby area. Whoa, that Subi's loud. That Koenigsegg is just too sick. All right, here's a first for my McLaren. There's ice on the front bumper. Well, what an epic first day on the rally. Had an absolute blast. It was the perfect amount of driving, the perfect amount of amazing roads and high speed roads. Now we're here in Mammoth, 
where the McLaren meets snow for the first time. Do a little room tour, because it's actually kind of a cool little cabin vibe hotel here. We've got this nice little living room area. Christine in the kitchen, classic. Nice room over here. I just realized I don't have an outro yet, so you be the outro. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Hi. <laughs> <laughs>